Greetings and welcome back. So here's something portable and useful. The pocket temperature meter project. As the name suggests, this is a compact, useful temperature and humidity meter made of an ESP32 C3 development board, an SSD 1306 OLED display, an AHT10 sensor, a LiPo cell and 3D printed parts. Here, temperature values are taken using the AHT10 temperature and humidity sensor which displays the data on the OLED screen. We were able to reduce the device size to a tiny 25 by 25 by 48 millimeter form factor, which make it perfect for carrying around in our pockets and letting us collect temperature reading data whenever and wherever we want. This is made possible by the small battery and relatively compact component utilized in this build. The whole video is about the build process of this device. Oh, and if you want to download the project files, you can check out its page. The link is in video description. Now let's get started with the build. The 0.91 inch SSD 1306 OLED display is a compact and versatile screen commonly used in an electronics project and devices. Featuring OLED, the organic light emitting diode technology, this display provides crisp and vibrant visuals with high contrast and wide viewing angle. With a resolution of typically around 128 by 32 pixels or 128 by 64 pixels, the 0.91 inch OLED display offers a small form factor suitable for applications where the space is limited. We are using the 128 by 32 pixels display in this project. As for sourcing this OLED display, we got it from PCBWay's gift shop. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. We invite you to visit their website at pcbway.com to learn more about their services and how they can help you to bring your project to life. PCBWay specialize in manufacture and assembly of printed circuit boards. They offer variety of services including PCB prototyping, low volume production and mass production. PCBWay is committed to provide high quality and cost effective PCB services to engineers, hobbyists and startups around the world. Their state of art facilities and experience team allow for quick turnaround time and precise manufacturing ensuring that your PCBs are of high quality. This is the breadboard setup, the first level of this project. It's made up of SSD 1306 display and the ESP32 C3 development board connected to an AST10 temperature and humidity sensor on breadboard with jumper wires. We loaded the attached code into the ESP32 dev board and our setup is working and displaying temperature data on the SSD 1306 display. After completing the level 1 of this project, which was to make a simple running breadboard version, let's level up this project and make a proper circuit on a prototyping board. Two 42mm by 22mm prototyping PCB will be used for level 2 and all 3 modules will be soldered onto them. The SSD 1306 OLED screen will be placed in the center of the front PCB while the ESP32 development board and the AHT10 sensor will be mounted on the back PCB. There will be a little LiPo cell placed between the front and the back PCB. Now let's have a look at the assembly process. We begin by assembling the ESP32 C3 development board and AHT10 sensor on the prototyping board. then soldering their pads to securely connect them to the board. Next, we connect both of their VCC pin together along with the ground port and the two I2C pins together as well. In our case, the ESP32C3 Beetle development board, SD and SCL pin were GPIO 8 and 9. This was the wiring diagram. Now we put the SSD 1306 screen in the middle and solder its pin to secure it onto the prototyping board. 
that was all required to assemble the SSD1306 display circuit. The front PCB and the back PCB will now be connected by four more wires that we have to add to the SSD1306 display's terminal. These wires are VCC of the SSD1306 going to the VCC of ESP32, ground to ground, SCL to SCL and SDA to SDA. Here's the result so far. The circuit is working as you can see. The ASG10 sensor and the ESP32 development board, the project's main brain, are mounted on the back side. The SSD1306 OLED screen is located on the front circuit. And the I2C port, the SCL and SDA, and the power line VCC and ground connect two boards together. Here's the code which was used in this project and you can download it from this project page. The link is in the video description. We are using a little 3.7 volt 100 milliampere LiPo cell for portable power and we have linked its positive terminal to battery connector of the ESP32 Beetle board. The ground is connected to a sliding switch that we added to the front PCB later. To turn this configuration on and off, a slide switch is connected between the ESP32 dev board's ground and the battery's negative terminal. The circuit has now been assembled. By first creating a model of the circuit in Fusion 360 and then constructing an enclosure around it, we were able to create a basic enclosure for the circuit setup. The plan was to create a two-part enclosure with the lower body and the lid. The ESP32 and the ASC10 sensor are exposed on the backside, allowing us to reprogram the ESP32 and obtain accurate environmental readings from the backside. The lid, which secures the circuit from above, was modeled next. Two M2 screws holes were also created, which will be used to fasten the lid to the body part. Once the design was finished, we export two mesh files and use my Ender 3 printer to 3D print them using green PLA for the lid and transparent PLA for the base. The final assembly process began by first taking the lower body part and sliding the front circuit, battery and the back circuit in their place. Next, we place the lid on top of the body and use two M2 screws to secure both of them permanently. The pocket temperature and humidity meter is now ready. So here's the result of this simple build. A small compact temperature and humidity meter made from scratch using a custom circuit and 3D printed parts. In the event you want to collect temperature readings at different point in a row, the ASG10 accurate temperature reading are useful. The goal was to utilize the small meter which is easy to take around in portable to test the humidity and temperature of two different rooms at my workplace. As for level 3 of this project, I will be using a custom 3D printed PCB in the next iteration of this project, so stay tuned for that. I've included all the files in this project page so you can try and make one on your own. Leave a comment if you need any help regarding this project and this is it for today folks. Special thanks to PCBWay for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service and stencil services for less cost and great quality. And I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.